Cursor is an AI-powered code editor, and it might be the most useful AI product to ever exist. I've been a power user for about a year now, and I cannot imagine coding without it. Cursor, like many other LLM-powered tools, have a steep skill curve that takes time to overcome. In this video, we'll go over the core features and best practices for seamlessly adopting them into your everyday workflow. I've ordered the features in this video from easiest to adopt to most advanced. The most advanced features also happen to be the most valuable, so make sure you stick around till the end. To download, it's pretty simple. Just go to cursor.so, and if you use VS Code already, the transition to Cursor is pretty seamless. Cursor is directly forked from VS Code, and it allows you to import all of your existing settings. If you don't use VS Code, the transition might be a bit rockier because you'll still have to set up your settings manually. Cursor is a pretty generous free plan as long as you bring your own OpenAI and Anthropic API keys. They also have a paid plan that allows you direct access to models and unlimited access to advanced features like Composer. Let's talk about the first key feature in Cursor and also the easiest to adopt, autocomplete which Cursor calls Cursor Tap. Cursor has one of the best AI-powered autocompletes out there, and I have tried almost all of them. I personally have found Cursor Tab's prediction to be more useful and accurate than the other AI autocompletes out there, such as Supermaven and GitHub Copilot. What makes Cursor Tab stand out is that it can extend the autocomplete across the active file rather than just at your cursor position. To adopt Cursor Tab in your workflow, all you need to do is just start coding. Cursor Tab will give you some autocomplete suggestions, and all you need to do is just press Tab to accept them. That's it. Let's move on to the second feature of Cursor, Chat. You can think of Cursor's chat as ChatGPT that's built right into your code editor. This aspect isn't really anything special, as GitHub Copilot and a bunch of other extensions allow you to have the same. But what makes Cursor's chat unique is its UX. You can highlight code in your editor, press Command L, and the highlighted code will be included directly in your prompt. You can upload images, links, files, and docs, and Cursor will read and understand them all. For example, if you're working with a library like React Flow that Cursor might not know the latest API of, you can just link to docs and Cursor will read through and understand them perfectly. You can also ask questions to the entire code base. This is extremely useful for understanding new complex code bases. So for example, imagine downloading a new code base and asking Cursor, where's the best place to begin? And it will go through the whole code base and map it out for you. Truthfully though, chat is my least used feature because I mainly use it for high level architecture related questions. Since chat can't write the code for you, it's not as efficient as the next feature we'll cover, which is inline editing. Inline editing is Cursor's most useful feature at the moment. You can use it to both edit code by highlighting some text and pressing Command plus K, and you can use it to generate new code by clicking anywhere in the file and pressing Command plus K. For example, let's say you're trying to debug some complex backend code. One of my favorite things to do is just highlight all the code that is being affected, press Command K, and tell Cursor to add console logs for debugging. Once I see those logs appear, I can just tell Cursor what logs that were printed, and it will go and attempt to fix the error. Since inline editing uses the same special text box as cursor chat, this means you can also upload files, docs, images into inline editing. So for front end devs, you might find it extremely useful to be able to upload an image and have cursor generate the front end code for you right there. Last but not least, we have composer. Composer is the latest feature from cursor. It's a built in autonomous agent that can complete tasks across your whole code base. It's the next level up from inline editing, which can only work in one file at a time. This feature is really powerful. You can open up Composer with Command I. Here, I can ask Composer to add functionality across multiple files. Composer is also really high risk, high reward. You absolutely want to make sure you understand what the AI is doing here. It could be doing several hundred line changes across your code base that if you don't understand what's happening or if Cursor isn't solving it correctly, you might end up with more issues than you bargained for. Cursor is an extremely powerful tool with a high skill curve, but I promise if you stick with it, you will be coding 10 times faster than before.